It's a running theme. I was trying. I was in the middle of trying to work something out, but no, I have to actually start going live and actually paying attention to the music. Do we have anything that's nice? Not that one. Oh, I could probably get away with that one. Hello. Um, actually, I'm going to use the opportunity to check a couple things. Okay, that looks right. Actually, I'm going to use the opportunity to... Lovely. I sound all right. Everything sounds... looks like it's going pretty good. Good start. We will be joining... well, starting soon. I mean, at the, the first half an hour is going to be mostly talking, but I mean, I'll, I'll have something on screen in a bit. But right, let's send out some notifications. Announcements, that's the better term for it. Um, I'll have that there, and I'll have a logo. Tweeting. And then I've got a lot to say, I guess. It's been a while. Is that available? Is that an option? Oh, it is! Oh, lovely. I'll have that about. And oh, it can stay there. What are you doing? I'm just trying to upload an image to Twitter and I... For some reason my fi... I guess I've just got loads of files. But it just takes years to load. Alright, well it's found the files. The, the It's supposed to be in order of date, if you can... Actually, you are. Oh, no you're not, no you're not. You just have fake, vaguely relevant recent file footages. Hello people! Hello Brazil... Brazil nut, not Brazil. Hello Meep! Hello Sock! Rope Snake! Moo92 and just a bunch of numbers. 2563677184. Hello. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Do you do you know? Is it because you've seen my other post today? Or is there like a a Twitch related like is there a lot, are there like balloons flying on the screen? Or do people just know? I'm skipping frames. Excuse me? Like I know my my computer overheats at the moment because I've got a, a fan that sometimes misses its mark inside the computer. No, that doesn't happen too often. This is literally just the, the stream starting screen. You can't be... Oh, it's probably because I made it do too much by trying to look for a file. Excuse me. And it's probably going to do it again because I had to restart. We'll see. Hello, Link2404, the Legend 27 TSC. Hello, PowerUp136 and Z Quilter. Hello. <laughs> And you know because of Twitter. That makes sense. A Mario image. Is that what I said? It's not a Mario image. It's a, it's a twi- No, it's just a Twitter one. It's the uh, same one I posted earlier, just saying, hey, we're live. So, show up, please. Everyone's doing the exact same thing, but, you know, I'm just gonna be one of the sheep following the crowd, alright? I could have done- I mean, someone started like half an hour ago, and I could have done that, but whatever. Cool, that's tweeted out. I need to go to YouTube itself, and then I'll show you my screen. Um, as per usual, I was having technical difficulties setting up this stream, but it'll, it's fine now, um, probably. Um, we'll see. Uh, da -da -da. Lovely. Please tell me you're using those drawings I sent you, Power Up. Oh! Oh yes! I have them waiting. Like, I... Things are gonna happen, they're gonna have some changes going around, I'm gonna do a whole rebranding thing, and those images that you've sent Power Up, everyone will know about them soon, don't worry. It's being done. I have to look for this exact same image again for the YouTube post. Great. Oh, well. Oh. No. No. It almost got it right. It just gave me slightly different selections of vaguely recent files. Hello, Bagman Crew! You resubscribed, but you did that 12 days ago as well. Thank you. I guess maybe it restarted because it had been a month. Either way, thank you very much. RPG Week is go are going to be fun. Indeed it is, and happy birthday. Thank you very much. Eight months now you've resubscribed. Is that a- that might be incorrect. It might have, like, had a gap halfway through. But either way, thank you for being so loyal, and I hope you'll join us for the RPG week. Even though, really, it's a JRPG month, but, you know, we'll see how- well, we'll see how long Xenoblade Chronicles takes me to do, and how long we have to wait between Dragon Quest XI. Maybe I'll play Untitled Goose Game in between the two, because it exists between the two. We'll see. Um, right, that is that all posted. 
has I guess YouTube has changed their posting resolutions because it keeps giving a dumb square with cutting off the site, whatever. Um, that is that sorted, I think. I should probably press, press play on that, although I'll mute it. Lovely. How's everyone doing? Uh, mind if I crush that to the side? You don't, you're not gonna mind because I can't see it. While I'm here, I'm also gonna say some thanks. There's been a lot of uh, things going on with you guys while I haven't been here. Uh, for the month of August, I wasn't streaming and no one seemed to have made attention to this Twitch page anyway, because that makes perfect sense. But I think, well, well, two weeks ago, Broken Dylan subscribed with a tier one again, and so did Bagman Crew. And then since making an announcement that I'll be impromptuly streaming, or maybe it was the JRPG stream as well, we've got a few new followers. So even though you might not be watching right now, if you're watching an archive, or you just want to look back on the VOD, or just want your name out there, but you'll never know, um, I'll say all your names now. Thank you to Triforce Captain, Angel Sal, Beanie, oh, Bean is best, uh, meow, scramble deg eight two two rocky pebble, T W K soccer, Twick soccer. I'm not sure. The great Dabdos, Link two four zero four, which I believe is in chat as well. Inkling boy main, and that's about it. And then Emperor Bowl Blacks fifty seven with forty five bits. Happy birthday, banana. Enjoy. Thank you very much. I'm sure I will love that birthday banana. I don't know how the bits actually. That's a point. Yes, the bit rates have changed. This month is September, if you've seen any sort of building on that. So any bits you send will get a 10% boost in bits for free that I'll get that you don't have to pay for. So you've actually sent me 49.5 bits. So thank you very much for that. That'll be very helpful in the future. Um, I really wanted to, like I folded my Streamlabs thing in half on the screen and I want to still be able to see the chat, but it looks like that's not an option. That's really annoying. Can I like bring that out? Oh, what does that do? Can I? No, no, I can't. Um, edit your stream title in the description. Oh, I didn't know I could do that from there. Now I know. Can I like move this over to the left? No. All right. We'll have to do it like that. I can't see it. Oh, I'll just move the mic. It's fine. I am very behind on things. I think. Hello, Tomato God Mikai. Hello, uh, meow. I saw your follow, thank you for that. Hello, childish guy. Anything else? Anyone else? Sorry, I'm scrolling through. Hello, Caps H. I didn't see that, but... The oh, there you are. You're right at the bottom. <laughs> uh, I think that's... Oh, and Pikmin 2... Uh, 2? Where's the 2? Pikmin 933, hello, and hello, the cartoony medic. Good lord, I'm not used to saying so many hellos. It always is these reaction streams that people react to the most. Oh, you've got the best username, uh, meow. Oh, I've just clicked what that's supposed to be referencing to. Oh, lovely. We don't even know what that bloody movie's gonna look like. It's still in limbo. I'm absolutely gonna be watching the Sonic the Hedgehog movie and probably making a giant review. Maybe, maybe I'll just make like an hour long breakdown analysis. Right, let's make the screen look a little bit more interesting, shall we? Um, and then also I can say some things. So first things first, um, hopefully this works. Second of all, hello, I immediately stubbed my toe on my computer, which is as a tower underneath my desk, which is a lovely first start. Hello everybody, I can't see exactly what I look like because Streamlabs has decided to make me the size of an ant. There we go, I look alright. Um, it's been hello, it's, it's been a month. I'm clearly very rusty because I don't know what I'm saying half the time. It is half past 10. I'm slightly conscious that my neighbors are trying to go to sleep and I'm here just rockling around. If they, if they announce Pikmin 4, I can't stop myself from shouting at the top of my lungs, but my poor neighbors are gonna have to go through some stuff. What is this song? I've just got so many things to say and this was not the song I needed to like distract me. Not that loud. Um, how are the volumes? Because um, this, I mean, it's not really going to be the best representation because the actual presentation's not going on, but it's... I've just got this down at like minus 20 on volume. I am so out of... I am always flustered at the beginning of a stream. Oh well. It's great, because these are the ones where most people are watching me. <sighs> I think, I, it's also actually this whole... Um, I'll bring that down and keep it, because that's copyrighted. Um, this stream is also a little bit unkempt, because 
It's an impromptu one. I was going, you know, the in, the only reason we're streaming is because Nintendo is doing a thing right now, or they're about to. Literally about to, like, there. Um, and I can probably get rid of this. Goodbye. Um, I didn't know it existed. Nobody knew it existed yesterday, and I figured I might as well do a reaction, because I, I do that sometimes. I was planning to do a stream from Saturday onwards, and I, I was gonna reinvent the whole thing. I'm still going to, but like, I was gonna change the whole layout of this screen, probably. I was gonna lift up this entire desk and take it out to the front room. I was gonna stream in the front room, webcam on my TV, with my new couch, some actual posters in the background, instead of the one I put up 15 minutes ago. Okay, maybe a little more than, yeah. Yes, 15 minutes ago, four minutes before the stream started. That's actually pretty accurate. Um, and then, um, I was going to do all sorts of rebranding stuff. It was going to be like a new, new version of me. You know, a whole streaming all month, doing a marathon. It all looks different. I'm on a couch. I have friends, friend. I have new games to play. It's a whole new format. And now I'm right back to my normal. It's a good job I didn't move all my all my set because I would not want to move that all back. But oh well. Volume sounds fine. Great. I forgot that I'd asked. Volume is GG. Lovely. Thank you very much. <sighs> Let's hope, yes, that my uh, my B-Day luck will get us in. If, if we don't get it, I'm blaming you. You can't blame me for, for the lack of Pikmin 4. I can't control these things. I'm the non-believer at the moment. Like, when I saw this announcement, everyone was hyping over Pikmin 4, and I'm like, no. They're talking about 2019 games. They're not going to do it. Literally, it's just because Arlo's been shouting and raving about how they always talk about 2020 stuff in 2019. You know, they always don't talk about the one year, so... We'll see. And now I'm getting into it. We'll see how it goes. Um, also, as a... Is my arm good? Yes. Actually, don't worry. This is like the most anticlimactic reason to be wearing a bandage. I have eczema that is 95% healed on my wrist. The worst part now is on the side of my hand. And even then, it's pretty okay. So like, it was literally so I don't scratch it subconsciously. Unconscious? Subconsciously. So I've got a gigantic bandage. It, I had a, I used to have a little slither of a bandage, and then I would still, especially at night, just scratch over, like just pull it right out of the way and destroy my hand. So I'm wearing a bandage just to stop scratching, like a kid who's not allowed to scratch in the night wearing a full body suit. It's lovely. Um, but yeah, I'm still I'm not used to having like a chat that's all full up. Your YouTube is muted? Oh, I know. I, I don't need it volume right now. Is there even any sound? I mean, I guess I'll have it there. It can surprise me when the time comes. Um, so actually, um, a little thing that, I mean, no one, no one's gonna notice or pay too much attention to, but we do actually technically have a couple guests in the, in the comment section right now, mostly because they are being very unsubtle with their weird conversations. Um, if you're a long time streamer, you might have heard me saying hello to occasional regulars like Z Quilter. That is a person I know in real life, as is the very unsubtle and occasionally speaking Caps H, Cap H. If you've been watching my uh, videos during any of August, I was in Edinburgh. I was in the Edinburgh Fringe Festival for the whole month with uh, the comedy sketch group I'm part of called Biscuit Barrel. Two of the members, Caps and Zoe, that's what the Z stands for, is uh, them. So go say hi to them. Don't stalk them. I don't even know if you can, if you tried, but they exist. Thank you for joining me in my habitat that I didn't invite you to. Thank you for watching me. It's fine. I'm used to strangers watching me at this point. It's a bit weirder when my friends watch me, but it's fine, you know? I can't stomach... Why have we got Smash Mouth? Is that what I'm hearing? I. It's not even... Can't get enough of you, baby, by... You know what? Sure. We'll bring it up. Boy, uh... I haven't listened to this song since, like, at least 2012. I found... This is what... Oh, I know why this is here. It's because of when I, I like, reinstalled all of this... Every MP3 on my computer that I'd collected since I got this computer in, like, 2012. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, revived everything, and apparently Smash Mouth Can't Get Enough of You Baby is one of them. We've also got Everyday Superhero, Walking on the Sun, and, uh, you know, the main one, so, good fun. <laughs> this isn't Shrek, though, I don't think. 
Oh. I talk like I'm drink I'm sounding like that drink's something solid. It's not. I'm just like thrown off, I think, from the Smash Mouth. And I keep forgetting my train of thought, and I've got so many there are so many messages to watch, because I'm too busy rambling on my own little things. But it's nice to see everyone's around. It's nice to have a, a sense of a community, you know? It's weird having not streamed for a month. And then after this, from Saturday. I'll be bumping up my stream workout work workload from three to four hours a week to thirty hours a month. So and hopefully I'll balance out YouTube and the rebranding of that and the new con content formatting. I'm gonna be busy this September. That's the whole point of why I'm doing it as well. It's because for all of August I did very little, so I'm splashing out with all my time and resources now. I hope you don't mind. Feel free to join me for as much as it as you wish to. You were in Edinburgh for a day, Moo, but you weren't able to see me? That's fair enough. I got recognised three times last year, I think, and nobody noticed me this year. Probably because I, like, spread out my shifts for leafleting out in public, and I was always doing the late shift from, like, 8 o'clock onwards, or 6 o'clock onwards, so... But oh well. This is an all-star, you're right, uh, meow. Do I have to say... I'm, I'm gonna have to... I'll say it properly. Whatever. Who's looking forward to Banjo in Smash? That's the main one everyone's hyped up about. I have, so the the image that we had before and the image I've been posting around is planned. I'm making like thumbnails for posts now. There were three main things on it that I'm ex expecting, thinking to pop up, I don't know. Um, number one is Mario with a watermelon. Everyone's going crazy about Mario eating a watermelon. That was a promo art that the Nintendo Twitter put out. I'm not expecting anything from it. I don't think it's a hint for Super Mario Sunshine, but people are going to go crazy. Maybe they will announce something. It's it's time. This time last year, what were they going through? This time last year, we had a Nintendo Direct in September. The only thing I remember was they revealed Isabel at the end of at the end of it. So maybe we'll have another thing of someone Smash character pops up and then like a new game comes out of it for Switch. But it's supposed to be a 2019. Well, I guess the end would be a 2020 release. That's my only guess on that. Um, another one that I'm fully expecting is A Hat in Time. That game has been confirmed to have like a Switch release for like what feels like a year at least. We haven't heard anything from it. I was expecting a trailer. I was thinking full on trailer and like a release date at E3 and there's been nothing. So Hat in Time on Switch has to be coming out because I'm really interested in playing that damn game and I haven't. I really want to get it. I'm waiting for the Switch release. So I'm holding off on that one. And then obviously everyone's going crazy about Pikmin 4. So of course I'm going to put Onimer in the in the thumbnail thing. That'll be fun. Um, this stream will also be put on my my stream archive channel, the Daz Let's Plays one. Um, not straight away. I've got a lot of other things I need to sort out first. But it's going to exist. So keep an eye out there if you're interested in seeing this later. I should do that soon because... Views. Maybe I'll make that. I'll start uploading that after this stream, and then I'll go to bed. Unless Pikmin 4 gets revealed, in which case I'm not going to bed. We'll see. Um, are your drawings the one Raz shared on Twitter? Oh, this was Sock talking to Power Up. No, this isn't. The um, so Power Up sent me a like an email of some some art of my face that I could use in like thumbnails and stuff like that. It's really helpful. I also want to turn them into Twitch emotes. I've got a lot of things I need to do. And I'm probably going to do a lot of it like the like admin work I'm probably going to do on streams during like the, the marathon. Like maybe I'll have on breaks. I'll be like help. I need help doing most of these things. You'll see them soon. Um, I'm hoping to put them in thumbnails after this wave of Nintendo Direct videos if I make one. Um, depending on how they go, you know, depending on how the direct is. But otherwise, I was planning on making a whole new like series and a format of content, and it would be the, it's the classic like, oh look, it's an animated face of the guy on the thumbnail. But I mean, you know, it works, so might as well get a brand. Um, do you still play the Bikmin hack? I don't. I lost the save file for it, so we got all the way to the wistful wilds and most of the way to the end. But I'm probably not going back. Bikmin 2 is being made, or has been made, at some point I'll play more Pikmin hacks, alright? I finished the, um, what did I finish? The other Pikmin hack. Lands of Torture. We finished Lands of Torture. 
Um, I still need to f actually upload the finale streams onto YouTube, and the VODs of it on Twitch have disappeared because I was away from Edinburgh. So, got a lot of work to do there, but that's finished. So if you haven't seen that, I'll upload them soon. I've got a lot of work to do. There's a lot going on. But the fact that I've got 30 hours sunk into this kind of work means I can buckle down and do it, which will be nice. Hat in Time comes out October 14th, really? Okay, I'll write that down somewhere. I'll put that in my book. And if I'm wrong, you're gonna make me make a horrible scribble in my little diary book. Um, you wanna see you wanna see some of your art now? Oh what power ups? Ah, oh, you'll you'll see it soon. Why is a Twitch called Daz Videos when you don't make videos on Twitch? Um, because I'm Daz and these the whole it's like the overbrand because I used to be Daz Reviews and Daz Let's Plays, so Daz Videos was like the umbrella term, it was the branding of it all. Um I could make videos on Twitch, I guess. Like I couldn't I got highlights. Oh well. Um You need to get up at six o'clock? Youch! Ouch! Those are my ears, but hello, Rope Snake. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Okay, October 14th, was it? On a Monday. You sure about that? I usually upload on a Friday or a Thursday. Um, I'll write it down anyway. Uh, hat in time. Switch. There you go. Confirmation. Very, very interesting right now. Yes, ten minutes left. I'm so used to these now, you know? Like, I, I know a couple of people have been really nervous waiting for this Nintendo Direct. I haven't. I think it's because I've had a million things to do to pass the time. It's my, it's my birthday, you know? I woke up to some presents. I got a bunch of Pikmin figurines, which I do not have in the room that I should have totally gotten. I also got, actually... You know, since everyone's actually a Pikmin fan here, I can show this off more. I got a new mug! That my girlfriend made for me, and hey look! It's me! Does it, uh, hold on. That, no, that way. Do, oh my god, this is so hard. Does it look like me? Oh well, it's like our, it's a character we've kind of like created that I've decided to call Dazzlymar. Because it's a combination of me and, and Daz, obviously. Uh, me and Daz, me and Olima, whatever. Olima's nose, my everything else. And a Apple laptop that's not an Apple laptop because it's got a flower on it. There's also leaves all around the back and leaves on the inside. And again, the flower logo right at the bottom, but it's literally full of black currants, so you're not going to be able to see it. But hey, nice custom Pikmin mug. Goes with the custom Pikmin shirt, custom Pikmin figurines, and um, default Pikmin plushies that are backed away in my front room somewhere. You want to draw my old uh, Pikmin ideas, Quack Trap? Go for it. I'd love to see it. Um, I actually was thinking what I wanted to do. Um, in this new format, as just for fun, in the hopes that it would work, is at the end of the credits, a lot of people were in the olden days used to have like a fan art section where they'd, you know, they'd upload, they'd show off any fan art they receive. I don't get fan art, but if I make that slot and I show it off every day, maybe I will. So if you send me, if you, if you do, send me that and I'll put it somewhere. In fact, like even, as like just a direct advert, oh it's gone. Never mind, I was going to say, send it to me on Twitter, and my Twitter tab was supposed to be open, but it's not, so. Oh well, you know what my Twitter is, it's at Daz Videos, you know, Daz Videos, the over umbrella brand. That looks nothing like me. It's because it was half me and half Olimar. It's got the glasses, it's got the hair, it's got the beard. I also probably wasn't angling it very much. What game am I playing, Caps? We are not playing a game. How does that work? What we're doing, Caps, is, do I call you Caps or Cap? Cause you're, what, oh, whatever. Um, this is basically a reaction stream. Um, I'm, I'm playing YouTube. Nintendo, you know, the big guys that make Mario, they're doing a presentation, like, uh, uh, just a presentation, um, uh, that they've announced today. It's starting in five minutes. What they're gonna do is like showcase all their new stuff. Um, they're gonna be talking about games that come out this year. They're talking about the new Pokemon game, the new Luigi's Mansion game, which you probably haven't even heard of. And I think that's the only thing they confirmed. Um, so everyone's going crazy. We all want to know what, what they're doing. You know, it's all content. It's all games. It's all fun. We're going to see what they make. Sometimes they surprise us. They, they do some crazy things sometimes. Sometimes they're really boring. I don't know. I like... I like Luigi's Mansion. I'm really hating Pokemon. 
the, the just oh, so bad. And then everything, I don't know, everything else, we'll see how it goes. Basically. Just, just come watch, you'll see. And then I'll try to be entertaining enough, but not too over the top. Because I do have neighbours, and unless it's Pikmin 4 coming out, I could be normal. This is weird. I want to bump it up for the normal people that are here. But when people I know are here, it's like I gotta turn it down or whatever. I'll just be myself. Hello, Shopney! You have a slight addiction to Pikmin? Ah, it's more like I've become a bit of a poster child for Pikmin. And everyone around me is aware of that, so they send me. You know, I didn't get myself a Pikmin shirt. I had Pikmin shirts made and sent to me. I didn't get the Pikmin figurines. I might have bought a plushie or two, but they, you know, people are sending them to me because that's what I uh, is most associate with me. You know, it's like when you have like an auntie that gives you a Super Mario or a Yoshi toy. It's like, oh, thanks. I mean, although I actually super like Pikmin. I was my, the thing that started me on YouTube and I'm still waiting for Pikmin 4. Yes, I'm obsessed with it. That's basically what I'm trying to say. You know what I mean? <laughs> Gooigi's Mansion. I mean, that's basically a thing, power up. Do I play Mario Maker? I did. Um, I haven't done it in a while because I haven't had the Switch since before August and since coming back, I've just been on YouTube and playing Stardew Valley. That's what I've been doing. Or I've been watching uh, my girlfriend play Stardew Valley. That's it, I've been very chill. Though I've made a level, I uploaded it years ago. And I, I, I show it off at any sort of parties when people come around, I'm like, here, Play my level. It's very hard. Even though it's not that hard, it's just a bunch of clear pipes and you've got to pick the right answer, but whatever. You want to hear the Pokemon rant? Oh, you'll get to it when we see Pokemon, you know? The only part I like about it is that it's British and that it's representing my region, but everything about it's terrible. You know, you know, you know it all. You've heard it before, you know? Multi-billion dollar company spends about a 1% if not that on it actually budgeting to make it quality. It's all cutting corners, it's all just slapped together, it's just no effort, no heart, all crap. Uninspired. Not worth my money. But I'm gonna play it anyway because I bloody well want to finish it, you know? If Pikmin 4 comes out, Daz's roof will fly to Mexico. That's an interesting comment. And would make logical sense if I was at least American. Why would it go specifically across the ocean southwest to below the US? Why wouldn't it go to Spain or something? You know, or up to Iceland? Oh well. <laughs> Pikmin might be at the beginning. It's a big new sequel. It could be one more thing. I'm gonna try not to keep my hopes up. Because I ain't got a clue, basically. You need to get new Joy-Cons? Yeah, mine, mine are broken too. But I got some new ones anyway. Fun. Dropping so much money on controllers for a hobby. There's a super cool Water Wraith level on Mario Maker 2. I'll keep that in mind. A minute and a half left. Hello, Ember Lister. Thank you for the follow. Do a Stardew Valley stream with viewers. How would I do it with viewers? Like have them, uh, I don't know how the online works yet. I only just found out that Switch multiplayer is not on one Switch. I was expecting, I wanted to play with my girlfriend, you know, just on the same screen. We have to have two Switches, I think, to play multiplayer, unless we've done it wrong, which is very possible. And so I was just like, oh, well, that sucks. Now I've bought the game twice and I can still only play it by myself. But I mean, she enjoys the game in the front room, so it's all good. Congrats on getting a girlfriend. Someone's been waiting for six years. That's life, Moo. Don't worry. It gets better. Generally. Right, I better mute my tiny Crypt of the Necrodancer music. We'll have just absolute awkward, horrible silence for the last 41 seconds, shall we? What time is it for me? It is 11. Just about 11 o'clock. Yeah. You broke the silence, Ember Lister, but thank you very much for the sub. Also, fun fact, because it's because this month is entirely sponsored by Subway, 
subs are half price, but I get the full price payment. So if you want to support a guy on half the budget, now's your chance. Let's put that very strange sound effect across the entire Nintendo Direct. Or don't. I mean, I get it. No. Wait, an eight. This is a Nintendo Direct. Why is it Peggy 18? I mean, okay. I'm gonna drink myself to an early grave now. With my Pikmin mug. Oh! I mean, we basically already knew this. Overwatch! I mean, Game Explain literally brought out a video saying this is confirmed two hours before the thing, but cool. Uh, my main concerns is, I guess, the quality, but also, does it have crossplay with the PC and the consoles? It would have to, because I wouldn't get this game without it. How do you play it mobily? Is that control? Okay, cool. Motion controls. I've got this on PC. I'm probably not going to get it on Switch, but kind of cool that it's here. I'll give you that. Builds up the case that Trace is going to be in Super Smash Brothers. Otherwise, it's mostly just kind of a... To me, you know? It's like, okay. Audio up, please. I can do. How's that? Minus 16. <laughs> God damn it, Overwatch. Why not TF2? Ah, oh, because Valve has given up as a game producer. Hello. See you later, Zikulta. <laughs> Only here for me. Ooh, October 15th, which I think is what we've heard on the on the reveal. Nintendo Switch no headline. Yes, please. Unseen forms of the hotel. the hotel for yourself. Okay. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted hotel where every floor has a distinct theme unlike any other. Mm -hmm. Case in point, Tomb Suites. I mean, a pyramid inside a hotel? Yes, we te I mean, we not the hotel, but we had a we had a pyramid one in the last place. Just fair enough. This game actually is looking really good. There's a disco floor. Oh, interesting. Restaurant. Nice. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a The graphics look good like they've got they've got portrait ghosts. Check out. I am enjoying. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all new attraction. Spring park instead of the skyscraper. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. Eight with only one Nintendo Eight players. Two to eight players can battle it out. No one has eight Joy-Cons. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties for one switch. But cool. And break the most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. Hmm. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. Free to Kirby, Kirby, and Kirby are free to start to Nintendo Boston. Switch game. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Is it a mobile game on Switch? And collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. That's right. Get your weapons, get your gear, hmm. and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. It feels There's like an MMO, oh, almost like a four-player so sort enemy. of RPG. Sure you have the right jobs for the job. The key to victory is to know your role and work as a team. You can play alone, together on one console. Okay, well, I, I like that a bit better, honestly. One, one console, that's my new demographic. It's kind of like a boss run. Wow, is there normal levels? To unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches shortly after this presentation. Hmm. Hey, it's free to start too. We were expecting somewhat a new Kirby game. I never properly got to speak about this the speculation. This recently released RPG is getting a remake. After 25 years, fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third um, game in the trilogy. Is it staying 2D? It's not. Holy cow! I kind of want to play that a little bit. Although I'm I'm good on Dragon's Quest. Which of the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined world? Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. 
This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Interesting. I, people are going to go crazy over this. I imagine they already did. I didn't properly like register it, I guess, at E3. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each hmm. member of your party. Quality's a little low, but I don't think I can... I think that's all on their part. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Oh, they love the wheels of fate, don't they? Find out what's Interesting. In for the world of oh, that's of April. April 24. I might get that. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is going fast for 40 minutes. Good lord. Okay, cool. I get a break. The oh, never mind. That actually is quite cool. Only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of Falmouth, England. I almost went to university there. That was my third choice. India Company. You must board the ship and uncover it too the far away. of its disappearance and return. Your analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. You bastards <laughs> may take exactly what I give you. Explore the ship. Interesting. Observe the situation. And record your logical deductions. That is, I agree. It's a cool art style. You, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Did they hit an iceberg? Little by little, tease apart the misfortunes of the ship and its crew to solve the mystery. Hmm. Return of the Oberdin. Interesting. I don't like the title design because it looks like it's just an old like Game Boy game. But I like the 3D design. It's cool. There's a small town out there with a hey, town. Is this in man? There, there's so many Never RPGs. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. One day, there suddenly appeared a giant monster to defend the mm -hmm. townspeople. One boy named Axe will stand up to face it. Man, I was always a preferred dagger. Our ideas. Oh. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope to win. Hmm? During battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage of okay. the advantage. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And I need a bit more convincing. The game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. <laughs> That's a nice step in the right direction. Little Town Hero. Hmm. You can preload the game. He seems grumpy. But maybe that's just Western advertising. Autumn is coming to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Whoa! Everyone goes crazy about this. Is it what's? When is it? Is it now? Release date. Banjo and Kazooie. Mm-hmm. Release date is today. After today's Nintendo Direct, we'll it's broadcast a video not today. How to use it's specifically the fourth. The games I know it's my birthday. I know what day it is today. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching oh, right cool. now. Oh, cool. Okay. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, please check it out. This is cool. I like it, but I'm not gonna play him. Ba oh, ooh, okay. Tracer, Chell, SNK. Oh, it's another representation of someone. Way back to the beginning. Yes, SNK. Oh, yeah. Off brand. I didn't exist yet. I'm 23, but SNK is something. I never worked out what it was. A fight? Like a... Another fight? A dude! What is it? I mean, I don't know what it is. Huh. Is everyone fight to see who can actually get it? It's the girl. I don't know any of this. I don't recognize a, a frame. I'm, I'm lost. 
Is this just going to be a medley of everyone? So much teasing on this. It's just. Oh, it's just going to go to someone else now. You know, Trace is just going to show up and be like, yoink. Oh, it's the red glove guy! Terry! Hello, Terry. Who's Terry? He's coming out in February. Who's Terry? He's not coming out in February. How did I read February? Yeah, no. I'm on so the same boat as you, Shogni. Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. You don't have a number reveal number that five as well, do you? Four of the five fighters included in the fighters pass. All male. Can there really be only one left? There's a whole new pack, isn't there? We're happy to confirm the development of more DLC fighters for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters Ugh. Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over yet. Sakurai, I thought you used all your budget. That's what everyone was telling me about subspace. It's like, oh, that's not possible. He's used the budget. Oh, God. Gosh, crazy. How many? Five, three, two, one? It's about time to wake the windfish in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Which means the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely in. I guess they're just going to keep pumping money into Smash, and it's just going to keep popping out characters. Chell has another chance. Oddly familiar faces. Whatever happens, help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. That subspace is going to have to wait. You can place chambers this is cool. To Not gonna get it. I've seen someone play the Game Boy game. That's enough for me, you know? I probably won't even get the Amiibo. I'll save money and not spend 50 quid on this. But it's nice! You know? Give it to a kid! Doom guy for Smash? More Echo Fighters! That makes sense, Carlito Sap. People won't be very happy, but you know. <laughs> Told you, man. Nintendo's lying to all of us, so 2020 games, it can happen. I'm playing this game. I plan to take this on straight after Xenoblade, so the month of RPGs will continue. But I'll probably go with the 3D graphics, because I like them. Didn't grow up on 2D. Grew up on the GameCube, sorry. The day the game launches, Free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. Okay. Including consumable items and more equipment that can change the appearance of party members. Cool. An RPG giant draws near. Dragon I saw how pe crazy people went for the hero reactions over in Japan, so... And I've heard good, good things. Everyone loves the series. I might as well follow Until through. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free demo on Nintendo eShop. Nice. It's gonna be musically copyrighted to hell, but oh well. Sakurai is making sure that Smash is the final game. For more Fire Emblem goodness, then say hello to Tokyo. Is this a dating sim? The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result uh, is coming to Nintendo uh, Switch. What? The story takes place in modern Tokyo. Where creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Performa. I remember something about this, mirages. like years ago? You'll face off against this is it a sequel? Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. It looks like a bad-ish, like... I'm thinking. Together, you'll wage deep turn -based battles the models or something look off. Of the Fire Emblem and Shin Megami Tensei series. And, in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Oh, okay, so is it a, a specific remake of it? Okay. Maybe that's why it looks off, it's because it's old. I'm not a... There's too many characters in this Nintendo world. I don't know who Tiki is. 
can preload it from the anime shop. 1000 someone's gonna play i mean it'd be a fun ironic stream Pass. Back to where nothing is what it seems what is this dead rising boston deadly premonition it all begins again when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. It looks like it's from 2012. Again, character models. Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the looks name like of York. Dante the from Devil May Cry. He's got his face. They have no path. skin textures. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise. 2020! On Nintendo Switch in They're pushing the limit. And now for the shocker. Oh. The original game in the series will launch on Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins shortly after this presentation. Okay, cool. <laughs> Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive Edition is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. I don't know Check this it game. Out. I have so much to drink. Again, so many like... Sunny looking, okay, this this looks more like an MMORPG, it's fine. But I was like, so much sunny, fantasy, green, JRPG looking games. This, is this an MMORPG? Also, hello, Carlito Sap, thank you for the follow. So many stealth drops. What is this? Why is this longer than the E3 announcement? The E3 presentation? What is going on? Okay. Honestly, that kind of went in one ear and out the other. In one eye and out the other, too. Now for a message from Bethesda. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone Doom, I'm guessing? Do they have Doom? Who does Bethesda have? Really cool that we have to Nintendo Switch Sounds like Doom. Year. Looks like Doom. Many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games yes, Doom did come out on Switch, Switch, so... Well, this year is the 25th anniversary Maybe not. of Doom, one of the most yeah, popular okay. first-person shooter franchises ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. For the first time since its original release in 1997, I didn't even know it was a 64 game, but I guess that makes sense. ...on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Cool. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro... First didn't they already do this? ...to make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. I feel like I remember they already did this. Or, like, bumped it up to be 3D real. Doom 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Okay. I am very, like... I guess it's just uninterested in a lot of these games. It's just so much to me. Introducing a brand new IP from oh, this is this. I saw the thumbnail. They just the world, they just give it to actors. I hate when games just be like, oh, look, here's an actor. Even though Cyberpunk I enjoy and the Hideo Kojima one seems interesting, but like, this just seems ham-fisted. It's like, oh, you better like our game. We put a lot of money in people. Play for the people. guns, gadgets, or melee weapons. Your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. So it's gonna be a game. Sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Doesn't interest me. Right. Let's get into this. You're gonna give us all of the Pokemon this time? You have them ready. You're using the same animations as usual and models. Take place in the Gala region. It does. Land, where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Okay. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Yes. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Great. First, customizing your look. Oh, Once again, this was in the last the game. Let's you pick your outfit. Okay. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety. 
including outerwear and gloves. I mean, <sighs> plus you can change your hairstyle. Oh my god, they've cracked the code. The me channel had it right the whole time. Simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part too, don't you think? No. No. The point of the Pokémon games is the Pokémon. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp any time at Pokémon Camp. Okay. What's your other spin-offy side While things? You're there, you can play with your Pokémon. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. So it's like the same as usual, kind of nice. But in multiple addition, Pokemon at once, that's area, nice. You can visit other players' camps too. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon. An attempt to make it look more lifelike, I guess. At the camp. Are they in scale this time? Unlike the battle scales, where they're all zoomed to the right, same size? Third, curry on rice. He did this in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. This is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. Is that? How your is this supposed to be? And what type it is? Ultimately Japan on and other ingredients Like you Britain use. and Japan? Because we're not that heavy on not rice. The heart you put I don't think. We like, cur we like curry. We like sausage. We don't really have sausage rice. We eat rice when we're really, really poor, but even then we'd prefer pasta. Toast? Yes. Why is it all curry? What is that Pokemon doing here? And four, we'll introduce some new Pokemon discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a whole of hiding in most tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may is it gonna? Trusting well, like, it's it's, it's shiny version. Better be green. Got to be green tea. Special ability called weak armor. Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. This flying and water type Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it's like a it can dodo. in its mouth. Okay. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watches it. Psyduck's rise from odd little cousin. Along with the catch or... in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. What is this? Grammar's exclusive new ability. Wow! We invented a bird with a fish in its mouth. And that's all we have to share with you today. Uh, I mean, you literally just showed us emotions. That looked a little bit better. November fifteenth. This is like a parody. It's like, oh, you haven't impressed us. Oh, but we got a. a the bird that just goes, you know? We've hired... What's his name? We've hired Rico from the Madagascar films. He's our, you know, we, we watched that film once and we were like, wow, that was a really good concept. Right? We just sort of... Everything. We're gonna make that... We're gonna weaponize it. The kids are gonna love it. Okay. A good point. People were wanting this. Oh, I played Super Mario Circuit. That was my first game. It's better. This is better. This is good stuff. I appreciate this. How slowly are they going to reveal these? Cool. Standard. They're showing a lot of games. How, like, you know... Is this all the SNES games we're going to have? Okay, what was that, like 12, 16? 20. Okay! Have they... Okay. That's a big update of 20 games in one day. Have we not had that much ever before? Like... We don't get 20 game updates, do we? Oh, whatever. I didn't. I didn't pay any attention to you. Gotcha. Even though he said Super Famicom. I haven't had a, one of those controllers in my hands since I was five. Six. So, I guess I could get one for old time's sake. 
<laughs> One day we'll have Wii U games on the Switch. I mean, it'll be 2050 by then, but it's happening. We've got to slowly make our way up the consoles. Sure, you know Tetris, but can you survive this? Nintendo Switch Online members. Don't, Tetris 99 don't do this to me. And not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? No. Oh, good luck. I couldn't. We're Don't make me play this again. Missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet. To showcase your I'm interested in those even less. Tossing in a vast array of new player icons too. Beyond that, the That's second very wave interesting. of DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together okay. with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch <laughs> systems and local We won't give eight mode. people the chance to play together, you have to buy eight Switches first. Switch will be released on September 5th. A package version including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 20th. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. I think I saw a glimpse of this. It looked interesting for the one second they showed it. Including the 100 meter, karate, football. They had the old timey designs, right? I want to see more of that. That's more interesting because this just looks kind of generic. Gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 retro style events. Each one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, <laughs> not best animation, but you know, would have been cool if they reanimated some frames. You know, in which Mario, like Sonic, upgraded it all. Bowser and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. They turned Mario and Sonic into an Isekai anime again. I say again. Just isekais in general happening again. The next a game inside a game and all that. Will be here than uh, you think. Right, let's go. Let's go nap while we can. Everyone sleeps through these demo things. X Machina prologue demo will be available for download after this presentation. They need all the help they could get. In this prologue, you'll oh, there's a human. I never. I don't think we've seen a human this entire time. All of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've never played an action If I had game seen like more of them game, walking around, I'd get they're all about. probably a better liking to it because it seems more Xenoblade-y suddenly. The feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support online play. Be ready by customizing your arsenal and honing your skills on missions. This is where we're going to find out this game's actually amazing and just no one's paid attention to it. Like Astral Chain. Damon X Machina will be ready for action September 13th. A Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Is it going to be fixed? Because his moustache looks like just a paper cut slit. Get your lightsaber at the ready. But I mean, hey, a good Star Wars game on Switch. Is this one of those games everyone loved? I could be wrong. How did they manage to get there? You know, thought like EA swiped all those. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's Witcher that looks absolutely terrible. Horrible. I almost got this. I almost thought about getting this, but it just looks horrible. It's so downgraded for the Switch. At home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. Become the most feared pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Oh. And then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two it's strange that they're, I mean, I guess not that strange that they're uploading old games, but again, that's very, it's just all downgraded, all just... Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, 
craft and customize hundreds of Looks slightly Fortnite-y, which is a trend I'm going to start noticing more and more, but that's okay. As you see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Are you going to say what they are? No. We'll keep an eye out. I mean, it's not going to be there. Is it going to be there? Ever, I mean, I, I've got that for the Wii. It's fine. I don't care about Just Dance 2020. Can you give it less of a slot, please? I like... Yeah, thank you. Oh my... Okay. I guess they already wanted to track... On. Was it just, just the four games? Or four or five games I want to show off? They want to show us Nino Kuni next and pretend it's real. Like, new. Wow. That's, that's all we're getting. Oh, no, no. There's a new one. I mean, it looks the same as all the other, like, six NBA games, but, you know, it's cool. I think Pikmin 4 will get a bigger announcement than this. These are all third-party people getting their say. I think this was alright. I mean, there was a lot of... I think it's just a lot of this wasn't my demographic. There was a lot of non-Nintendo games being thrown in. We got loads of updates. Trials of Mana looks good, seeing a little bit extra of that. Town's got its actual name. We saw a tiny smidgen of Luigi's Mansion. Pokemon attempted to show off something, but I mean... Have you got a one more thing? There is more. Let's see our 2020 release. You did. I'm gonna get it. Let's have a look, shall we? Hello. Mm hmm. You have an internet connection and digital stuff here? That's a good point. How does this island have electricity? I guess it can happen. Every land is an island. Choosing the deserted island getaway package. We can see all the islands that aren't the island. Time and a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, mm -hmm. the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. It may be a deserted island. This is coming out in winter. February is winter, technically. I guess it's aiming for that spring so slot, but still. Worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Oh wow, we're gonna get a tent? Please select a spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs. Mm -hmm. I did watch the, the Nintendo Playhouse. And furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. Okay. We're going to some materials. Like branches. <sighs> and stones. Gosh. Then we'll head to this is really slowing slowing down the direct, isn't it? It's just kinda like oh. Nicely done. Also you can use the tools you craft. This is longer than forty minutes, right? Like this. We started it it's been with those. You oh, no. can craft more no. items. It's been thirty three minutes, excuse me. Yeah. Feel free to place furniture Meaning we still got seven minutes? I guess there's a plus one after this. Outside. Oh, this is going to be a really slow presentation of Animal Crossing. So that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Let's head back to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. I have a feeling they're not going to show Breath of the Wild stuff. It, it feels too early. Maybe be another teaser. Certainly not gameplay. I could be wrong. You can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to All of these songs so far program. sound like lullabies, you know? There are many ways and I mean, it's, oh, it's, it's 11.34 right now, you know? Don't Bishop. tempt me with this. Catch some bugs. One last thing. This is boring. Hours. 
I've got some chocolate them to, make a garland. to to hype me up again. Another Christmas present. Christmas present? Thanks Birthday present. Even have I need it to build up my energy, I think. So don't mind me. A vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Mm-hmm. Everyone who saw that half second clip saw that snap, without having to explain it in exposition. In no time. This looks like it's designed for I'll a YouTube video for the generic, casual, life. maybe more childish audience. Not for the hardcore Nintendo the fans that are actually watching it live, weather. but you know, that's just my thoughts. There will be sunshine, the New York holidays, Nintendo store's not going loud right now, you know? They went crazy about the new DLC characters, they went crazy about SNK, but they're not gonna go crazy the about the time of day and season, of, day and season of Animal Crossing. Wow, it looks like Animal Crossing. This is not opening very smoothly, so I'm just gonna rip right through it. Sociable types Something new? On the same island can play simultaneously. Mm -hmm. That's what multiplayer is. On one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a mm -hmm. local wireless or That's new. connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players in one visit. Yes, okay. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why is that a camera? A photo with everyone? Yeah, camera mode. A lasting memory. Smash guy is very sleepy. No, but Smash girl is not. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. You've shown us There's nothing! So more waiting to be discovered. So There's new mushrooms. Animals to There's encounter. fairy lights in the Christmas trees. Calling to you An ambush home. exists. We can't wait for you to experience the literally deserted island get I, uh, You have said nothing new. We have to reveal on the background so everything. Oh, I don't want to analyze that. Meh. Is it a bit more time for the game or just a bit more time before the end of this direct? Yes! Maybe it is Breath of the Wild. What is it? I need to know! Three minutes left of the stream. Oh! My girlfriend will be very happy with this. She is going. I was just about to start the. the z I was about to do a JRPG marathon this month. I'm covering Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Is it gonna make me go back and do a HD remake of Xenoblade Chronicles One as well? You wish to change it? Huh? Gosh, that looks really nice as well. The hair is not the paper. That's great. He did well in Smash. I guess I'm gonna drop another fifty quid. Damn. I mean, they also released it on the new 3DS XL and all that, so I guess it would kind of make sense to scroll through. I wasn't expecting this. Shulk is so golden, his hair is so shiny. 2020! It's not Pikmin, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Gosh, is it been eight years already? Nine years? Sorry, chocolate. Okay! Okay! Mm. Look at all these sad people in chat. So sad about Pikmin. They don't know the struggles. I've waited six years for a Pikmin game. I know how disappointment feels. For now, I can just Peggy swoop right underneath it. My god. How was that direct? Sakurai, you could do your chats, and I'll be semi here, but... <clears throat> trying to think. I had put on pause my next video for Friday. You, you told totally about Hero, you're going to talk about Banjo? That's cool. Um, I'll, I'll, like, background watch. Um, I put this next video I had on pause to make a Nintendo Direct video? I don't know what I should cover. Hello! Thank you, Emperor Bolblax, for the 50 bits. I'm sure there'll be a, a next time that everyone will get hyped up about. We'll see. I'm going to be even more skeptical. <laughs> I'll make a funny tweet about it, aren't I? 
I am not forgetting Hey Pikmin. There is no Hey Pikmin sock. Um, but no, I'm trying to think, what should I make a video on? Because I could do trainer analyses, but they're not really interesting. Everyone else does them. I could make a Smash one about the extra five fighters. Like a top six. Completely off the wall. No hold, no, nothing, nothing stopped. Another, like, unexpected. Um, let's see, I can't really, like, Xenoblade ain't got much to talk about, Dragon Quest ain't got much to do on. He's gonna fight control two controls at once, okay. Alright, do what you want, Sagarai. What was the Kirby game called? Um, good question. It's long gone out of my mind. The Four Swords Kirby game. It's free to play now. I think it's available now. It's only been four years. Oh, sure. Only four. Excuse me. So impatient I am. <laughs> Super Kirby Clash? Was that what it was? Okay. Um, hmm. I'll probably end up making some sort of Smash video because I don't think I can turn around the giant high production quality video I wanted to make in a day. I've got it written and recorded, but I don't like exactly how it sounded when I was recording it. So we'll see. And I've still got some technical things to work out. Let's have a look and see what Banjo's doing for at least a little bit, shall we? The Arrival Platform Holder. It is nice to see Banjo is the only English designed character. Unless Terry is English. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, give the game a try on the Xbox. <laughs> oh, nice. Grant Kirkhope represents follow him on Twitter, he's great. どうも対戦会には合わないですから、今回はアレンジも頑張っています。そのアレンジBGMをいくつかこのプレゼンの中でBGMとして流していきたいと思います。せっかくです。この辺に曲名などを出していきますので、そちらもぜひお楽しみください
playing a bit more casually but long term. You know, maybe I'll always be streaming a marathon for each game. When Luigi's Mansion comes out, I'll play it all night, or oh, maybe an all nighter Luigi's Mansion stream. I don't know, we'll see. But you know, play it all the time. Well, I guess I'll play it all day from the morning. From midday? From three? From six? I don't know. Either way, you know, I'm going to do something like that, like I'll marathon to finish the game, because a lot of games I start playing and I never finish, marathon it in a stream and I'll actually get it finished, hence why I'm doing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and hopefully Dragon Quest after that. Um, but I'll do it for Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'll do it for Luigi's Mansion, I'll do it for maybe not Xenoblade 1. Um, what else is coming out? Animal Crossing, I'll play, but casually I guess. Can I stream that? Maybe. I'll make something work. Um, and whatever else it was I was interested in. You were pleased with the Star Wars game? That's fair. I, I, I could have done with a visual upgrade, but then maybe that's part of nostalgia, or the lack of benefits, or the copyright stuff. Something like that. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think. Do you remember anything else? There was a lot of third party games that were. I guess they didn't want to fit it into an E3 slot, so they just sort of crammed it all in there. The Luigi's Mansion 3 news was a trap. Oh yeah. You've got a surprise for me when Luigi's Mansion comes out, if you remember. That would be rad. I'm absolutely going to use your, your artwork soon, Power Up. I'm going to try and incorporate all sorts of things through. I'll make a big old thing about it. We'll make, we'll make something work, alright? Um, I kind of think like I've seen enough from this background. Like I'm enjoying the background image of this more than I am how he plays as a fighter, because like, you, you get the gist, you know? Let's see his shock spring jump. Well, that's about it. Oh, he's Pac-Man. Not Pac-Man, Sonic. And it's throwable too. Okay. It's different how. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's got a mid mid range height, so we can go a little bit to the side. All right, that's our. That looks like that's our final thing. Hello, Mario, Mario. Thank you for the resubscription for twelve months in a row. Oh man, I wish I came earlier. Happy birthday, Daz. Wish you all the best. I'd stick around for longer, but I have to head home from the university campus. Looking forward to future streams. Fair enough. I assume you're all up to date with the Mar the, the Mario Mario, with the the su the future stream format. On Saturday, we're going from normal time till six hours later, which is midnight here. And then we'll skip on Sunday because I'm having my actual birthday celebrations then. Then we'll do the same on Monday, and then we'll do the same on Tuesday, and then we'll do the same on Wednesday. I'll have a break on Thursday so I can make a YouTube video, and then we're back again on Friday and Saturday with another break on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. On loop, six hours, all of those days, blazing through those JRPGs, getting Xenoblade Chronicles 2 done, because my god, I need to actually finish that ending. Gonna get on Dragon Quest 13, because 13? 11. 11, because I really want to work on that. Probably nothing else after that. Have a break. Unless it clashes into Luigi's Mansion. It probably won't, but if it does, I'm going to clash on with Luigi's Mansion as well, and then we'll go from there. Pokemon's soon after that as well. I'm going to be doing a lot more streaming. That's the new format. Hope you look forward to seeing that. But otherwise, that's going to be us for now. Let me turn this down a little bit more, even though the graphics is struffling and this is basically muted already. That's gonna be my end. I say a marathon. Everyone's usually streaming for six hours, but I usually stream three or four, so to me it's a marathon. You know, whatever. Marathons are your favorite, you try and catch them whenever you can. Fair enough, that will be lovely to see. But otherwise, that is all for me for now. This was a nice little impromptu stream to see the latest and greatest of Nintendo, sort of. It wasn't Pikmin 4, but it was, it was all right. I'll try and make a video out of something in this. But uh, yeah, I will see you again on Saturday in a whole new format. Everything will be different. And then soon enough, so will my YouTube content as well. But for now, I will end it off here. So uh, yeah, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit. Oh, look, they got, the, they got Mumbo. They got Mumbo on Spiral Mountain. That's great. <laughs> oh, well, we'll get Pikmin 4 eventually, I agree. One day.